last year I made a video on Bethune Cookman landing a an athlete by the name of Big Play J. And I was very excited for them because I know for a fact that that kid was going to be a monster. And even though he redshirted, I believe he redshirted his past season at Bethune Cookman, I expect him to come out the gate swinging this year. Bethune Cookman loves them some athletes, clearly, because they went out and got another one by the name of Isaiah Doby. Now, Isaiah, to me, looks like he can make his money and a lot of money on the defensive side of the ball. That's safety. He's electric. He's a hard hitter. He is a guy who can also get the pick if you need him to. Very versatile, very versatile. But he's a firecracker. That That is how I would explain his play style, right, after watching this tape. He's a firecracker for Bethune-Cookman. And, you know, there's a reason why I never doubted Bethune-Cookman last season while they were going through that tough season that they were going through because they weren't getting blown out by anybody. They were just shooting themselves in the foot. You could tell they were just a little bit more disciplined and a, a few better pieces away from really giving teams hell last season. And I think they've made those additions. You know, you get Jalen Jones at quarterback. Now you have a legitimate quarterback. Um, they Their whole team overall just looks revamped and ready to go. With Isaiah Doby, what they are getting is a guy who can, who will become the leader of the defense or whatever side of the ball he chooses to play. Because let's be honest, because they love athletes as much as they do, I have a feeling that when he gets to the collegiate level at Bethune-Cookman, he probably still going to play both ways. And I love that about Bethune-Cookman. They really embrace the Iron Man mentality. Isaiah Doby is a guy, like I was saying, who is going to be the leader of that defense. He's a guy who's going to have a C on his chest at some point. Probably not his freshman year. Um, but at some point, he will. He's a guy who we're going to be talking about for the next few years as one of the top players in the SWAC. He is a guy who is going to earn a lot of accolades. And he's a guy who I'm going to be looking for. I hope he doesn't redshirt this season, but, you know, history tells us that maybe he will. We don't know, we don't know yet, and I'm not going to put that on him um, because I know his goal is to come in there and play right away. But Bethune-Cookman nailed it with this one. And as a matter of fact, if there, besides South Carolina State, if there's any other program that can really find guys who are overlooked but damn good players and that can develop these kids, these overlooked kids, into damn good players, it's Bethune Cookman. It's Bethune Cookman. 5'10", 175 pounds, but that's okay. That's okay because he's fast. As a matter of fact, there was a clip of this man catching the interception in the end zone, running all the way from the back of the end zone and almost returning it to the house um, if it wasn't for the great pursuit of a receiver chasing him down. But, man, I looked at that play and I said, oh, okay. Okay, he he's one of those players. And I love that about him. He, he's one of those guys. But with that being said, you are watching the CFL Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr. I'm out.